Hello fish lovers! Welcome to Zach's Tanks! Crazy Aquarium Guy! Today I wanted to show you uh, the big 148 gallon and or is it 145? I keep mixing those together a big tank <laughs> the goldfish tank but they have some new bodies in there actually and I'm gonna explain that when we see the tank and I also have a giveaway or of some kind that I'm gonna uh, address at the end but it's a giveaway that you need to come and pick up so it's only for my Swedes my Swedish followers but uh, yeah so let's go and see what I did with the big tank it's some new plants some new fish and it looks awesome if you ask me so let's get to it so this is the big tank guys that I was talking about I added the rainbows in here just five minutes ago they needed to be get a lot more space but they were in 75 gallons so it was okay but they actually love to swim all over a tank like this so and as I told you if you watched that video when I just moved them that I realized that the tiger bars that I took out from the glass cube wasn't the ones who was bidding and nipping on all fish's fins uh, the tiger barbs are with the Pahaka and have great fins and these ones have terrible fins and it's not a disease it's Amazon puffers so the Amazon puffers can't be with my beautiful rainbows when they're gonna bite on them all the time so I had to move them somewhere and this is my biggest tank so I actually love the look of it the goldfish has ever only been with goldfish, so they're wondering <laughs> what the hell are these new fish. But they're gonna accept each other. Goldfish are super nice, and in my opinion, uh, rainbows are super nice too. To add out to other fishes, so I think this will be great. So as you can see, the top of the tank has a lot of swimming space. And the goldfish near uh, live near the bottom because they always trying to find food. So I can get sinking pellets for them, and then I can sprinkle on some uh, floating pellets for the rainbows. So I think this is gonna work great. And I also got uh, a big Java fern on wood, like I have over here, and you see. My discus tank, I have another one. But now I got th this one and this one from my brother. Because they grow grew out from his tank. So, this is a Java Fern super tank with little moss balls and one Calamistratum uh, cryptocorn. And that one is gonna grow a lot better now because. The huge Egeria Densa plant that I had in the pot over here was getting too big even for me so I took that out and yeah this tank looks great in my opinion and these plants I, I'm not worried about putting a plant with algae problems in my tank because this was in one of, in one of his tanks that he used medicines just recently so that's why the algae bloom appeared in his tank but I put plants with algae in here before and this guy I could talk about a lot the potus plant you see the roots of that boy they eat up all algae so I can put in a totally infested plant in here and two weeks later it looks great the algae dies off on its own because it's no nutrients left for the algae so that's great and now that I said that maybe for the first time I'm gonna get the algae in this tank <laughs> life is working that way sometimes now 
we're hoping for the best here keep our fingers crossed yeah so I'm gonna divide the video here because I, I wanna get close the next time and talk about the fish so hello again guys so I'm gonna get down on my knees and get some close-ups this is a new guy I bought mm, always hard to get him and he was sold to me because I order goldfish I get lists and then I bought uh, buy from the list and hoping they look good but all good fish goes to America and Asia so it's really hard for us in the northern of Europe to get really good looking goldfish because all the way up from uh, Czech Republic uh, people in German buy them and, and they, they get to us last so we only can get because they call this one actually a black and red Oranda <laughs> Ah, it has good colors and it looks like a golden black uh, normal fan fancy goldfish an ordinary fantail goldfish but I took him anyway because I got half off at the register and I liked his colors but yeah so it's hard for me to get really high quality goldfish but you see this was also common when I got it so they all look beautiful with better better expensive food not just put regular goldfish food if you put uh, as as expensive food in your goldfish tank as you do in other tanks when you love your fish they're gonna get this beautiful even though they are a plain goldfish because it's nothing plain about him I can't find some of them now because they're probably hiding I put this huge amount of plants in yesterday so everything is new even for me and I, sh I changed the streamer from my super big streamer uh, that streamer was too strong this is Fluwell's most stronger streamer and even that even then that one that I took away was twice more than what more than a hundred percent stronger so they will sometimes the small goldfish could get stuck in it and I'm tired of seeing that so I changed it and yeah and it looks good so this is my new favorite tank again a lot of colors and my rainbows are not fully grown by far so they will get even better looking colors especially now when I'm putting it, them under this more blue light and they're not gonna have fish that bites on their fins all the time so I'm pretty happy with this so I can make some more small announcements uh, so I cut the video again see you guys soon so this is what I wanted to talk to some people with uh, all you guys that are living in Sweden so I'm gonna change the language to Swedish now for a minute and then I come back to English so it's gonna be a quickie om du har sett mina gamla videos så har du sett att jag har en stor vattenpest i Geria Densa i en kruka här i och den tog jag ur nu för att det skulle få plats. Ja, du ser hur mycket jag har nu. Men eh, den är riktigt stor. Och jag har sålt varannan vecka 30 skälkar och den bara fortsätter växa. Så att, eh, jag tänkte att någon som bor nära Norrköping där jag bor. Och tycker det är värt att få en sån här gratis. Kan få hela skiten. Jag vill behålla krukan som den har varit i för den krukan var så jävla bra. Den var gjord av sand och det var säkert för akvarium så jag kanske använder något annat projekt. Men 
hela den där stora växten och kolla på en annan video för nu ser det inte roligt ut när den ligger så där. Men den är full med vatten här och jag ska sätta ett lys över den. Och det ska åka iväg nu i helgen. Men direkt, jag kan hålla den för liv. Jag kan hålla den vid liv i en vecka i den här så i början på nästa vecka hör av er ni som kan tänka, tänka er att komma. Och tyvärr kan jag inte lotta på något sätt. Om jag visst, jag kan, jo vi kan göra så här. På söndag, alla vi ni som har tänkt komma, på söndag innan klockan 12 och så ska mejlet vara inne. Och då lottar jag. Och ni får helt enkelt lita på att jag lottar rätt visst, men det gör jag. Så lottar jag mellan de som vill ha komma och hämta den. För det gillar att komma och hämta den. Det här kommer jag alltså inte skicka. För det är alldeles för mycket. Och då kommer jag klippa av det här som sitter i krukan. Och så får ni med er allt det här i en påse. Med lite blött papper och på sig, det är lugnt. Då klarar sig den här. Det är vattnet heter ju vattenpest av en anledning. Men jag ska sätta ett lamp en lampa över den nu så den klarar sig över helgen. För jag ska åka bort till helgen. Så förhoppningsvis vill folk det. Och eh, Men som sagt. På söndag vill jag ha inne där. Och jag vill helst att den som kommer då kommer måndag eller tisdag. Men det får ni ju välja själva. Men växten kommer ju vara finare ju snabbare du kommer. Eftersom den ändå är i en sån här utan cirkulation. Men jag ska lägga på en lampa. Så. So switching back to English again. I just talked about that I wanted to give away the huge plant that was in here before. Because I don't have any space for it and I've been selling like 70 packages of that plant. Eight stems at a time, 70 packages. Then you know how fast they grow. So I was thinking I can give it to one of my subscribers instead. But that's what that deal was about. Oh, like I said, this is going to be my new favorite tank. The rainbows with goldfish. Beautiful. And some of the goldfish were hiding now, so we couldn't see them all, but... So we'll get them next time. But they're doing great. And I still left the corridors in here. I took out... Uh, four rare plecos. And put two in another tank. And I gave two of the rare plecos to my brother because he has actually given me that plant before. Even though it's a lot bigger now when I have. But these were. Oh, this one was about the size of the, the, uh, the this this one when I got it, and now it looks like this. So it takes a long time to grow plant like this. Plants like this. I can't talk today. Sorry, guys. So this is gonna look like a super Java fern tank. <laughs> it's gonna look good. Seems like they like having rainbows in here. Actually. Swimming around playing with them. Yeah. So this was the goldfish tank. So I'm gonna cut the fee here now because I've been filming it with my cell phone in 50% of 4K, I don't know what that is called, but high res resolution, so it's only 5 minute videos. But I cut again and I come again. Bye for now. I also wanted to address about the discus, but some because some people are asking me how they are doing. And from not eating anything, they started to eat black worms, live black worms. Then I trained them to eat <laughs> Uh, live white mosquito larva oh, and then I went through with frozen mosquito larva so I tried if I if I could if, if, them be, if they've been eating uh, live food for a week then I take the same food but frozen a lot cheaper and mix it in the water column so they've been eating that too and today they actually ate not the small one that is hiding and he's still hiding, that's not a good sign actually when I get back from this weekend I'm gonna do another cure of uh, API general cure that, was be, that will be the last one but I think they're doing better the colors is coming back a lot on the checkerboard you can see two days ago he was still pretty dull and I think that is because he started to eat a lot. So, yeah, five good discus now. Hopefully I can save the last one as well. Just a quick update on that. But I'm really happy. 
that I could get them to eat because I already counted on two dead stentier discus. So, super relieved and I won't give up on them. But, like I said, the smallest one that is hiding in the corner, maybe, maybe he's not gonna make it still. He's still pretty thin and he eats, but he eats the uh, lowest amount of them all, so. But I wanted to talk about that because I have been problems for, what is it now, six weeks. And it started to get better. So, yay! And the filter is pretty good. But <laughs> since the medicines worked, now I have <laughs> two filters that on the, the each filter it says that they can manage a bigger tank than this is. And I have two of them on here, so. But, you know me, if you know me and you know my channel, I always over filter rather than the opposite because yeah who wouldn't if they could and I can so it gives me peace in my mind so cut the fee again so that was uh, talking about the discus and they're doing a lot better I'm super happy about that and also big changes in my biggest tank the goldfish and the rainbows, in my opinion, they look awesome together and they look happier. I know I have a lot of tanks that looks like they look super weird <laughs> with the fish I mix together and but that is kind of my thing. I want to see what you can do. I want to try things that people don't try and I want a planted tank with beautiful fish. That's my main concern. But yeah, I think they look great and the super huge Yama ferns is only gonna grow bigger on the double the 4 T554 watt and another extra LED light so in probably in two months this tank is gonna look super green and that's nice so I keep looking at the other side I'm gonna look here so I can look at you sorry uh, so this was all I had today and I will not po be posting videos this weekend because I'm going to visit my cousin and I'm gonna be away for the whole weekend so I wanted to do a video now today because usually I put out three or four videos on a weekend so I wanted to do a long video today instead so I'm gonna get these tanks prepared for me being away fill them all the way up change some water look check double double check everything out every heater yeah that's the my <laughs> I don't like going away for a couple of days because I'm always concerned about my tanks so maybe I ask my brother to come here and look at them on Saturday or something so that was all for today guys and if you like my channel please subscribe and hit that bell button so you can see them as soon as they come out and yeah it helps me a lot if people have that bell button because the bell button is you showing uh, YouTube that this guy's worth waiting for and they will show other people my channel and my videos more if a lot of my subscribers uh, hits the notification tone with the ring oh with the bell button like I said so really if you like me but you still haven't done that please do that it helps me a lot uh, I wanna be bigger so I can do live streams under a then I can do live streams from my cell phone if I get to a uh, thousand sub subscribers you can do them from the cell phone but I'm only at 500 something and I'm super glad about those 500 of course 
but if you can live stream from your cell phone it's a lot easier than doing it with a computer and I can live stream on the go so I can live stream if I'm in a cool aquarium store and I don't want to make a video edit I can just live stream it from there and get you to see things yeah live so it would be great to be able to do that but now now I am rambling again so thank you so much for watching if you stay this far uh, subscribe like comment always love to answer comments it can take a day or maybe two days sometimes but I think I've been ans I answered all the comments if I all the questions at least I answered some comments are just one word then I can hit like but I read all the comments and I answer almost every comment I can say that much so have a good day guys hope you like them Ooh. hope you like my changes that, that I did and yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs> I already said that but Without you guys watching, I would be nothing. So, really nice to hear from you. Tell me what you think about the Java, Java fern forest that I'm gonna grow in there. So, have a good day. Bye bye.